So you've heard of the NIST cybersecurity framework. What about the CIS cybersecurity framework? What about cyber essentials? But in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a cybersecurity framework that you've never heard of. The Onion Cybersecurity Framework. Now the Onion Cybersecurity Framework might just change the way that you think about cybersecurity in your business. But before we start, as always, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help clients with their IT support, their Microsoft 365, and their cybersecurity. So if you've got any need in your business, please contact us. Now, cybersecurity can be a bit of a daunting thing for small businesses. So many people online giving different types of advice. It can become pretty overwhelming. When I think about cybersecurity or anything that's complicated, I think the best thing to do is follow some kind of framework. That's why I'm a big fan of the Cyber Essentials framework that exists here in the UK. It's basic cybersecurity protocols that small businesses can follow to help protect them against basic cyber threats. But still, Still, for the average small business owner, cybersecurity is still pretty overwhelming. If I contacted any small business owner and said, look, I want you to follow the NIST framework, or I want you to follow the Cyber Essentials framework, they'd still be pretty confused. So with that in mind, is there something easier to follow? Is there some kind of framework you can follow in your business that makes you think about cybersecurity a little bit differently? Well, today I'm going to introduce you to the cybersecurity framework that nobody's heard of, and that is the onion. Now what on earth has an onion got to do with cybersecurity? Is it because onions make you cry? No, the thing that cybersecurity and onions have in common is that the onion is made of different layers and a good cybersecurity strategy for your business will consist of different layers of protection. Usually a single layer of protection is not good enough. So let me take this a little bit further. Let me talk about four different scenarios in your business that you can apply the onion framework to strap yourself in grab yourself a cup of tea and let's go so the first threat in our business is ransomware so how can we apply the onion method to ransomware we don't really want ransomware spreading through our business it scrambles up all of our data and all of our applications which means we can't access anything until we pay the cyber criminal a ransom now the best way to recover from a ransomware attack is by having a solid backup in place that means if our business suffers from a ransomware attack, we can just restore the data from the last backup without the need to pay the ransom. But just by having a solid backup in place, we're not really thinking about onions, are we? So how can we add more layers to help protect our business from ransomware? Well, we could make sure that all the devices in our business are kept up to date at all times, so they're all fully patched. We could make sure that people can't use USB storage devices. We could implement security software that helps stop ransomware from spreading across our business. We could implement a really good email security solution to help prevent dodgy emails from reaching people's inboxes. So can you see how the onion is taking shape here? We're adding different layers of protection to help protect our business against ransomware. Now I'll never be able to guarantee 100% that your business won't get ransomware, but every layer of protection that you add to your business reduces the risk. So the second threat that I want to talk about applying the Onion approach to is your email security. Now the majority of cyber attacks originate from emails. That's dodgy emails with cyber criminals asking you to click on links or open attachments that might install malware on your computer. So I want to apply the Onion approach to email security. Firstly, we could implement a really good email security solution to stop a lot of those phishing emails from reaching our mailbox. We could implement something like Defender for Office 360 if you're a Microsoft 365 user. Now that would be a really good start, but remember, it's just one layer. How can we add more layers to help protect our email? So a good second layer could be cyber awareness training. If you train all the people who are using the computer on how to spot a dodgy email, then that is a great second layer of protection for your business. So at the moment, we've got a really good email security tool and all the people using the computers are all cyber awareness trained. 
mind. Is there anything else we can add? Well, of course there is. We could implement multi-factor authentication on our Microsoft 365. So that means if a phishing email gets through the security solution and someone who is using the computer is having a bit of a bad day, so they click on a link, they've got multi-factor authentication on their 365. So there's three good layers how you can implement the onion to help with your email security. So let's look at the third threat. How can we apply the onion approach to hardware failure? Now lots of customers still use physical servers in their office. This is just a piece of hardware that's sat in a cupboard somewhere. Now if that bit of hardware breaks down for any reason, it means that the service that that server is providing will also be down. So it might be that you're without your company application, or your files and folders, or your email. So how can we apply the Onion approach to hardware failure. Well, the first thing we could do is we could ensure that the server has two power supplies in it and more than one hard drive. That means if one of those power supplies or a hard drive becomes faulty, the server will keep on running. But that is just one layer. Is there any other layers we can add to prevent hardware failures from affecting our business? Well, yes, there is. We could get a hardware manufacturer warranty from the people who make the server. So if the hardware in that server does go, Dell could come out, for example, and fix that server within four hours. That's a really good second layer. But what about businesses who can't do without the server four hours? What else can we add? Well, we could replicate that server to the cloud. So again, if that server had a problem, we could fail that over to the cloud version. So there's three different layers that we could apply in our business to help prevent against hardware failures. And my fourth and final example, how can we apply the Onion method to our business data security? We want to make sure that our business data is protected and doesn't get in the wrong hands. To start with, we could have policies in place that instructs our team members not to share certain types of information with people outside of the business. But is that enough? Would that stop a malicious employee from plugging a USB drive in and stealing all your data? Nah, it wouldn't. So what we can do is apply the onion approach. We can use email encryption. We can use sensitivity labels within Microsoft 365. We can prevent people from using their those USB storage devices. These are all extra layers that can help protect your business data. Now, I fully understand if you're the owner of a small business, you're thinking, I don't have the knowledge. I don't know what these extra layers are. Well, that's where I come in. If you've got any questions about your IT, your cybersecurity, or your Microsoft 365, drop us a line. We'll be happy to help. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's giving you some food for thought. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah.